Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Nokia 5110 LCD screen with a X and Y joystick. As you can see here, there is a dot, so we will be able to move this. Uh, the dot will move down. If you go to the right, it will go to the right. If you go to the left, or somewhere in between. So at any position that you want, you can move the this dot so you can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino uh, let's get started i have another video uh, explaining using this uh, nokia lcd screen so you can watch that by clicking at the link at the description or the link that will pop up now on the screen if you want to learn more about it because here I'm not going to focus on about this but it will be a combination of these two I have also another video about this X and Y joystick how to use it and how to customize it but here we're we are not using the switch because it can be pressed and can do something with a switch so that will be a separate video the link also will be available for this at the description so you can go and watch this one or you can just type uh, XY joystick or just type joystick Robojax and for this just type Nokia Robojax you will find it to explain briefly briefly the joystick the joystick has potentiometer here and here and they are connected so you can see here when I move this it actually rotates this as if I put here a screwdriver or this one so you see when you move it it just move the potentiometer and we are just reading the value of potentiometer nothing special about this and there is a switch here so when you press it it just press that switch which is connected to pin 2 so this is an ok screen in terms of resolution it has 84 dots or pixel horizontally and 48 vertically so in terms of design it's very uh, solid and with very minimum number of pens it can work because it uses SPI protocol the connection for the wires have been explained here so from bottom we have VCC, VCC will be connected to 5 volts and G and D ground will be connected to ground and then we have SCE will be connected to pin 7 and then RTS will be connected to 6 this RTS D slash C will be connected to 5 so this will be connected to digital 5 of Arduino and DN MIOS, MOSI will be connected to 11 and then S clock will be connected to pin 13 and then LED will be connected to pin 9 via a 330 ohm resistor so that is the uh, resistor so this comes from LED and it's coming here and then uh, anything above 300 ohm and to less than 5 or 600 ohm will work fine because it determines the intensity of the LED and then from here it goes to pin 9 so now let me explain the joystick wiring here so we have ground 5 volts so we will connect ground to the ground of Arduino here and then connect the 5 volts to the 5 volts this silver is connected to 5 volts and then we have uh, let me remove this so you can see it so we have uh, V voltage of Rx and voltage of Ry so Rx is connected so Rx X is connected to A0 and Y is connected to A1 so this is connected to A0 the X and this Y is connected to A1 so A0 and A1 are two connection points here analog 0 and analog 1 the rest all the numbers that I gave you are digital values and will be here between 2 to 13 and then the last one is switch SW this is for switch when you press this so this does some action there is a switch so this is connected to pen 2 
So if you want to use it to do something when this switch is pressed, you can do that. You can use that. So let me explain the code here. For this code, uh, you need to get this LCD function.h, which I'm going to provide the link for you. You can download it and put it with the same file as this one. For example, this is called Nokia LCD joystick. If I open this folder, you can see here this is Nokia LCD joystick.ino. This is our Arduino file, and here is the .h file. So you will see I've saved it in my document Arduino and Nokia. So when you download the file, just put it in the same folder as the file name that you create on Arduino. So when you create a file, for example, Nokia LCD joystick, it will create a folder and the file will be there. So the file that I give you will just put it here in this folder and you will be fine. You don't need to include it in library or anywhere else. And now let me explain the code here. So this SPI is for SPI communication protocol, uh, which your Arduino will have it. You don't have to do anything. This was the file that I told you to include. And then pin two is for the switch of joystick. And then uh, the screen, the Nokia screen is 84 by 48 so we put from 0 we go from 0 to 83 and then here is one less so 84 minus 1 and 48 minus 1 so we put the width the height of the screen and then the thickness of the circle or dot that you create so you can put 2 3 whatever you want so it will be thicker but I went with 1 the one that you, uh, you saw so I'm gonna show you also the 2 and then we have inside the setup from here to here this is just for uh, my debugging purpose. If you want, you can delete it. LCD begin is very important. That initializes the LCD screen. So you have to put this inside the setup. And then the contrast is set 40. So how dark will be it? So if you want it between 40 to 60, you can determine, uh, you can set it with a higher contrast. And then it just gives a little time of two, two seconds. Uh, and let me put it, let me make it one second and then the screen will learn, clear the display. Uh, this will clear the previous data and update display will make any changes. So in case there is something before, so this is there. Now loop starts from here and to here. That's the whole code. So we are reading, we are setting the clear display. So we are setting this the screen to be white. You can set it to black but make sure that you change the dot to white so this is white so the dot will be black so this loop every time it comes it makes it white and clears the previous drawing or whatever is on the screen so we read analog zero so that is from joystick the pen that i showed you it will it will go to x and then analog one as a position of y so this map will say that get the value of x and map with a value bit, bit from 0 to 1023 and map it to these two value between 0 and screen width screen width is the value that we set here and then screen height is 47 because the analog input when you move the joystick you will get an x value between 0 and 1023 we want to translate it to the screen size so if it's 0 it will be 0 if it's 1023 it will be the screen width whatever we set at the top but all other value in between so this map will do the calculation accordingly and it will give us the value for x position and then we get also the y from the joystick which is this we also map it from between 0 to 1023 to 0 to uh, the screen height and we call it Y position. So now we got these two positions prepared for the Nokia screen. This is reading the switch, but I've not used it here. And these are printing the value of X and Y, so which you don't need it for debug purpose. Just click tools and monitor and you will see it when the program runs. And this is the main method or function that prints that value for it. So the the x so this x position that we get 
so this is the x and that's the y of the circle or dot and that's the thickness which is the radius of this circle so we just draw that circle at the position of x and position of y so this is x y that's the position on the screen and we say uh, set it as black and that's the thickness of that wire or uh, line that is two so we can set it one or two whatever you like you uh, practice with this and see whichever you prefer and then it waits for 100 millisecond and continues if you want to make it respond faster just make it 10 millisecond so let me update the code and show you now again after that value when you when you set all these value you must say update display so the value that you have will be drawn on the screen and then it waits for delay and clear the screen I have to clear here so delete this you don't need it so you see I set it at 2 that now it's very large so if I change it to 1 it will be tinier so whatever you prefer or based on your application you can just change it so I change this value to 1 now it's very small So this was how you use the uh, X and Y joystick with Nokia 5110 LCD screen. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos. And also if you have any question or comment, please post it at the comment section. I will try to answer and reply. Take care.